So I'm going to show you how to remove rust from a BMX frame. It could be any steel, chrome, or painted frame, or anything really. You can remove rust off any steel item. We'll be using a mixture of citric acid and water. So fill up your tub with your hose. You'll need enough to be able to try and cover whatever you're putting in it. These flat tubs, large enough for a 20 and 24 inch frame, are quite hard to come by. You used to be able to buy them in Bunnings, uh, now not so easy. I've seen people use their wheelie bins and many other types of tubs. So now that the bath is the right height, I'll be going into that bath with 500 grams of salt stain remover crystals. The low claw salt stain remover is made of 99% citric acid. So pour the citric acid crystals into the bath. And stir it around. So my container holds around 70, 60 to 70 litres of water, probably 65 at, at the level that I've got it. I use about 400 to 500 grams of crystals. I like to make sure that the crystals that I use are as close to 100% citric acid as possible. And that's why I purchase the low claw citric acid. It's a pool grade citric acid that uh, I've used for a long time and can trust. There's no chemicals other than natural citric acid. You want to stir until all the crystals have dissolved. So the frame set that we're going to be removing the rust from is this 99 Harrow Group 1 RI. As you can see, it's got a lot of rust. You'll literally see this rust start to fall off. We'll just go ahead and lay this frame into the bath. Obviously the frame doesn't fit completely submerged. I will have to turn it over. And I might throw a couple of other things in there with it. So I've also put in a pair of red line handlebars, very rusted out. You'll see the finished product on those as well. We'll leave these in for 24 hours and check them out, wipe them down and you'll start to see the progress. Obviously I cover it up so that nothing drops in there. So it's been 24 hours now, the frame's been in the bath. As you can see, the rust is literally falling off the frame. 
even with just a gentle wipe with my finger, the rust comes off super easy. The next thing that we'll do is to use a kitchen scourer to give the frame a good wash down. So for really deep rust areas, I'll use some steel wool. This will probably be what I use for the handlebars. So you don't have to wipe down particularly hard. Just like you would be washing the dishes, you can wipe away the rust. Now that I've wiped it all down, you can really see a dramatic difference in the areas where the rust has come off and the dropouts where there's still rust that needs to come off. I'll turn the frame over and it will go back into the bath. Time to wipe off the rust on the forks. These are looking pretty good. Whenever you're using citric acid to take rust off, obviously it's very acidic. So you need to neutralize that acidity. So in my washing water, I add bicarb soda as well as dishwashing detergent. This will neutralize the acidity. And of course makes the chrome really shine. So the frame's been in the bath now for 48 hours. That'll do it. It's time to grab it out, give it a wipe down and show you how good it looks. So we'll transfer it over to the washing bath. I really want to make sure that I get this water all the way through all the insides of the tubes so that we can neutralize the acidity inside and out. Finally, I'll just give the frame a wash down with the hose. Here we go. There is our 99 Harrow Group 1 RI, freshly out of a bath. I have dried it off as much as I can. I will let it sit for probably a week just to dry the insides. And then I'll treat all the exposed 
areas where the rust has eaten the chrome. I'll treat that with lanolin oil. There you go, there's lanolin oil. That'll get sprayed inside and get sprayed on the outside areas that have exposed steel where the rust has eaten the chrome. But the result, as you can see, is quite dramatic. All that brown rust is gone and the decals have not been affected at all. As you can see there in the tight area at the head tube, there is some exposed steel. That does need to get treated. If it gets wet again, it will rust. But keeping a, a frame like this in the garage stored, whether you're riding it or not, treating it every six months with lanolin, you'll keep that rust at bay. And as you can see, all the rust is in the bottom of my bath. This bath will last for quite some time, probably another two or three weeks with our sort of mid twenties weather we're having at the moment. If it's hotter, it won't last as long. The colder it is, the longer it will. I should be able to get quite a few frame sets and parts into this bath. There's a couple that are lined up either to go in or have already been in a bath already. As for these handlebars, these are going to take probably a week in this bath to, um, to soften that rust up that's quite deep. And I will need to get the scour onto, onto that. That's a video for another time. There are many different methods and materials that you can use to remove rust. Not all of them are as good as each other, whether it's oxalic acid or even vinegar, or some people think that Coca-Cola will do the job. I can tell you that none of those are as good as 100% citric acid, but that's just my opinion. So into the bath, you can throw anything from bolts, steel, rims. Citric acid will not affect aluminium. It won't remove any of your anodizing. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Certainly, if you did, give us a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Okay, that's it for now. See you later.